Hello and welcome back to Hard Reset Info. In this video, I will show you how to transfer data for a new device, this being Samsung S25 Ultra. Let's begin. Now, it's very, very simple. All you really have to do is go swipe up, swipe, <laughs> swipe up and check Samsung. Here, you should have an official Samsung application called Smart Switch. If you don't have it, don't worry, you should be able to simply download it by searching Smart Switch. Though be sure that you install an official one called from Samsung Electronics. Once you have the application, we can just simply open it up. And as you can see, the app will show you what data is the transferring data or in other words what what phone sent you the data and what uh, which phone receives the data uh, when you up, when you activate this application for the first time it will ask you for some permissions most likely probably for for storage for obvious reasons but without further ado let's get transferring so this is my old phone and this is my new phone meaning that i want to send from this phone and i want to receive on this phone now the phone that will uh, that want to receive the data will ask me if i'm going to if i'm transitioning from the galaxy or android or from iphone and ipad i'm going to choose galaxy and android as these both are the new samsung s25 and now it will ask me how do I want to connect. If you will choose wireless, you need to make sure that both of your phones are connected to the same network, otherwise it won't work. But keep in mind that it will be slower. Now you may also just use two cables, both with USB-C, or you can simply use normal USB cable with an adapter. So I can just plug in one phone and plug in the second as you can see it's working perfectly fine because <laughs> the bigger phone just is now stealing battery life so now we want to connect to galaxy s25 ultra to transfer my data so i will click connect And as you can see, the phone that wants to receive the data now is searching for data for transfer. So now we can actually check what we want to transfer. We can transfer everything, which includes every setting, every application, every phone account, every history, everything, or simply just contacts, calls and messages. Or we can check custom and we can simply choose which one we want to transfer. As you can see, there's little red circles here. So if we click it, and if we expand it, we can actually see what exactly can we transfer in our settings. So for example, I might only transfer the English pack uh, because I don't need the Polish one. So we can click done. I could have transferred apps, but it will take a while and the process is basically the same. So I will also check calls and contacts and probably images. Maybe I have some cool images there, who knows? We click transfer and we can also check keep screen on. So it won't basically, it won't turn off. Even though if it, even if it does turn off, the transfer process won't be interrupted. But just to be sure, you can click the little toggles here. And as you can see, now the app tells us that this phone is done and this phone still requires some time to organize the data it just received. So as you can see, we can now disconnect our phones. And we can click done here. And as you can see, oops. 
the data has been successfully transferred. Now that's all for this tutorial. If you found this helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.